I had this thought the other day, and I was just thinking like, yo, so I was reading 2 Timothy 1 and 7. It says, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. We know that much. And I thought about it. If God has not given me fear, but God gifted me with love, power, and a sound mind, that means that there's another gift giver at work giving out this gift of fear. And if it's not God, then it's from somebody else. And if fear truly is a gift that people are depositing, that they're dropping off into my life for whatever reason from the enemy's camp, why do I continue to open the package? Why do I continue to entertain it? Why do I continue to make room for it? Why do I continue to welcome it into my space, into my family, my relationships, my home? Why do I continue to open the box? Like the signs are there, the symptoms are there. Clearly, I don't, I mean, I know who gave it specifically, but I recognize the fruit of fear. So why do I continue to eat from this fruit that's destroying my life? I come to tell you today, like, you don't have to do that. Whatever you are afraid of, whatever the enemy may be dropping off into your life, you do not have to continue to eat it. You do not have to continue to accept it. You can discard it. You can be empowered in God's love. You can be freed and you can renew your mind and ask God to give you new thoughts, a new perspective. And you could walk in the power that Jesus has given you, the authority that Christ has given you, because you can trample over fear. You don't have to keep the gift. Throw it away. Throw it away. That's all I'm saying today. Like, throw it away. We don't have to accept the gift of fear. It's not God's gift. So why do I want it?